Welcome to the R video tutorial on chi-square test for homogeneity slash independence in R. This is part of Statistics 321 at Virginia Commonwealth University, but anybody can use it. All right, let's get started here. So with the data set we're going to use is the mifish.csv data set that we've used when we were playing with text before, if you remember. Uh, I have this data set on my desktop, and I'm going to read it in now, and we'll look at it really quick to refresh our memories of what's going on with this. Notice that this has a species and location column, and all of the data in here is text. So the first thing we probably would want to do with this is create a contingency table. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to type table mi fish one and when I run this, it gives me a contingency table. I have location, I have species, so the locations are across the top, the species are going down the left-hand side, and in the middle are the frequencies, how often each one of these was caught at any specific location. So this allows me to look at the actual distribution across these locations or the distribution of the location and or the fish at each location. So uh, what we're going to do for a chi-square test is really, really easy. So let's put in here chi-square test is simply chi-square, and you notice the tooltip pops up, test. All you have to do is pop in uh, the data set that you're looking for, MI fish one, and this test will test to determine whether we have independence or homogeneity across any of these rows or columns. All right, so let's give this a go. Um, it says some invalid character type. Oh yeah, so just be careful. You can't put your data in. You actually have to put the table in. So uh, this is a common mistake, which is one of the reasons I demonstrate it. You go, oh. Something happened that was wrong. Correct. You actually have to put the table in this in order for it to be able to test it. Okay, so no, you're always going to get this uh, error or it's a warning message. It says uh, chi-squared approximation might be incorrect. Uh, and the reason you might be incorrect is we'll talk about that here in a second. But if I notice here, I have chi-squared is the value is 41.69. My degrees of freedom are 36. And my p-value is 0.237. Now, the reason it's saying it's off is one of the assumptions that the chi-squared makes is that it needs the cell numbers to be greater than 5. Uh, and notice I have several of them that are below 5, and I have one that's as low as 2. So when it talks about cell numbers, it's the numbers inside here, the frequencies. And that's why you we're getting that warning to pop up. And so if it pops up, it's quite common. What that's telling you is you really need more data to really test this well. Uh, but if we look here, we would not reject our hypothesis in this case. So our no hypothesis is everything's uh, homogeneous. So we would assume that the distribution across the species is homogeneous without worry. All right, so this has been a short video, but chi-square tests are pretty dang on easy. So uh, feel free to jump to the next video.